Hi, I'm Boni Kapoor. Z Studios and me have produced this film, Tunivu, releasing on the 11th in Tamil Nadu and across different states and in overseas too. I hope you all go to the theatres to watch the film, enjoy the film, as we've enjoyed making the film. How can I say, I can't distinguish between my films. See, it's like asking a father which son is your favourite or which child is your favourite. I enjoy the journey of filmmaking, whether it's Tunivu or Valimai or Nirkonda Parvai or Ninji Ki Nidhi, Vitla Visheshim, Maidan, Mili, Mr. India, whatever, I mean, no entry. All the films have been a very enjoyable trip and only when you enjoy the process of your work, it reflects in your work. Sometimes you're successful, sometimes you're not successful. And I hope this time I am, we are successful because the team has worked very hard. Ajit has given his best, Vinod has given his best, Gibran has given his best. The supporting actor Manju Warrior has done, looked very glamorous and done her best. Uh, then the other actors too have given their best. So let's hope everybody's good work is applauded and everybody reacts very positively. Well, it just shows the kind of faith and confidence Ajit and Vinod had in me and I had in them. And it's been a good journey and I hope there are more films to follow sometimes in future. Well, it should, it will, because you see, good product need, needs to be shown across the globe, across the world, across the country first, then the globe. In fact, my film No Entry was a remake of a Tamil film, Charlie Chaplin. And I remember there were inquiries from other countries also to acquire the rights from me. So, it's something which, uh, there should not be any taboos. There's nothing wrong in remaking. Even, you know, Hollywood also remakes films. In fact, Ten Commandments was made a couple of times by the same director. Benner was, you know, there are so many, so many instances. So many films which have been made earlier than remade. And sometimes a Japanese like Seven Samurai was made into Magnificent Seven. So there are uh, so many French films have been made into English. So many Spanish films have been made into Korean films today are very popular. They are made into several languages. So there's nothing wrong in remakes. Of course, the remake trend has slowed down a little because of the OTT. Because on OTT you get the various languages which which the audience are able to consume. For instance, a Spanish film is dubbed in Hindi too, a Spanish film is dubbed in English too. So the audience across countries, they can consume it, they enjoy it and they understand. There are so many television shows, like there is one uh, television show from Turkey, Etragul, which has been, which has about 560 episodes and I've seen all the 560 episodes and that has been dubbed in several languages. It's about the rise of Ottoman Empire. Very interesting, very well shot. Similarly, there are so many other, you know, like Money Heist has been dubbed in so many languages. I mean, various shows have been dubbed. The Loudest Voice is something which I enjoyed. So, there are various shows, even Hindi, Indian shows. I know I was, sh I, I was shooting in Georgia for our mom and I could see our Hindi serials shown in the local language. So, whether it's a remake or a dub, this trend will continue. A remake perhaps, perhaps will slow down a little, but it will not die off. Like Drishyam was made originally in Malayalam. It was made in Telugu and both the versions were released on OTT platform. Yet when it released in Hindi in theatrical theatres, it's still running and doing very well. It's done a business of over 230, 240 crores. And the run continues. So that's a remake too, and it's a remake of a film which has been made in originally in Malayalam, then in Telugu, now in Hindi, and I'm sure somebody will make it uh, make it in Tamil too. Well, let's see. This is something which I'm undecided. It certainly will be dubbed in Hindi for the OTT platform and the tele uh, satellite channels. Theatrically, I uh, I didn't want to because you know there was I didn't want to rush into dubbing. In the Hindi version. We are releasing the dub version in Telugu, but not in Hindi, theatrically. But on OTT and satellite, we'll have the dubbed version. Yes, why not? See, that way, actors will have a lot more exposure. Like Alu Arjun's film Pushpa has done well. Uh, Prabhas's film Bahubali 1, Bahubali 2 had done well. 
So today they are actors who are recognized all over. And then there is junior NTR who's R triple R and Ramcharan in triple R. Similarly, Ajay Devgan doing the trip, uh, tri triple R in the Telugu version, Alia Bhatt. So, and Alia Bhatt now doing a Hollywood film too, uh, like Deepika has done, Priyanka has done. So there is a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, actors who are doing films in various languages, even across into the Western world. Some of them have, like my brother has done uh, a couple of films. Right from Danny Boyle's, Anil has done Slumdog Millionaire, Irfan Khan did a couple of English films, Jurassic World and Namesake and uh, Life of Pi. There are so many films that Tabu has done. So it's the, the world basically has shrunk with the satellite television, now it is shrunk further with OTT. So there is no harm for actors to work across different mediums, different languages. And it's happening, so it's good. Well, the plan will be revealed soon. As of now, I'm just working on a few projects. So let's see, in some time, probably it will be out in the public domain. Well, I, I, don't, I don't believe in that. Basically, I feel it is the content which rules the minds of the audience. Although, why would uh, Love Today do so well? Why would Manindathan's film do that well? And in the past, also several films have done well without, without known actors. So I don't think, yes, they are, they are popular, they are very popular. So all these popular actors are almost like centre forward in a football game or a hockey game. Only if they get a good pass, they can score a goal. So which means content is always important and it will remain important. For me, content is number one, then rest follows. I will definitely be glad to work with newcomers. I have done that in Hindi. And I will continue doing that in whichever language I make films, depending on the kind of subject the, the director or the writer comes up with. I'm, I've always, I've given breaks to so many new directors, so many directors from Tamil industry have done their first Hindi film with me, director from Telugu industry have done their first Hindi film with me. So, like Jeeva did his first film with me, Prabhu Deva, first Hindi film he did with me, Bapu Garu did his first Hindi film with me. Agathyan did his first Hindi film with me. Surya did the only Hindi film with me. So there are many such instances. I don't even recall. Vamshi from Telugu did his Hindi film with me. They had never done any Hindi film before. So I don't really have a mindset, you know, I will work only with this director or this actor. Or I will only work with stars. I have done films with newcomers too or upcoming actors too. And I will continue. That's something. The subject has got to appeal. For me, it is subject which matters the most. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I go wrong. Well, it's a very transparent distribution company and it has uh, impeccable record and it has a, today it, it ha commands good respect from the exhibitors and they get the best terms. And there's a, there's, you know, they have a fantastic business acumen. They know the potential of each area, each theater. So which is the hallmark of a good distribution company and that's what Red Giant is. Well, I have uh, posted what I felt. I've expressed myself in the, in the best way I could. I can't be going to rooftops and shouting. I've expressed it on my post. It is for the audience to understand. I leave it to them to understand. And I hope they rightly understand what I meant to express. I was happy. I am happy. And I hope I remain happy even post-release. Well, that's something very personal. I would not, would not like to share anything which is not in public domain. Our relationship is sacred and let it. I want it to remain sacred. Well, I don't have any thoughts on it as of now. Let's see what holds in future, but definitely no biopic.